Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for October 2022. Um, I'm a little late, I know that, I'm sorry. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. You could certainly have planets in the sign of Sagittarius. You may be in love with one. How could you not be? Um, or you're intuitively guided. Whatever brought you, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. Um, we're going to use three decks. We're going to use our Mother Mary Oracle for our words of wisdom. We'll let one come out. And then we will um, read it at the end of the reading. We're going to use, I decided to use the um, Tarot of Night for your clarifiers. Um, I don't know, they're a little darker, a little sexier, um, more a little luring. Um, I just felt like they were calling for you. So we will use those and then we're going to use the tarot dream for your main spread um i like using these two decks together because they're really quite opposite and um of course you know i'm looking for signs synchronicities patterns all of that all right let's get into your reading um everything is already pre-shuffled before i begin but i do like to shuffle it with you here Well, marriage, hello, marriage. I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. Marriage. Hmm. This could be something that's coming up. Um, it could be something that, you know, that you've been hoping for. And you know, when I see marriage, I just think commitment. I don't always feel like it has to be marriage because, you know, I'm in a committed relationship, but I'm not married. All right. We'll see how it plays in the reading. And um, I'm telling you, the words will blow you away. By the time we're done with this reading, the words will be profound. Um, remember, this is your monthly, so it is going to be longer. You, you know, I feel like you probably already know that if you looked at the timestamp. All right, we open with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. All right, well, a knight is completing a mission. And this knight is bringing you a sword. This could be communication. This could be truth. It's coming into the reading. Bring this down a little bit. All right. I was going to take off the top, but I think I'm going to shuffle. We have justice. Came in reverse. Um, first of all, Carta Libra. You know, in the upright, it's looking for balance. Truth. This can talk about karmic ties. Um, can certainly talk about the legal system, divorce, that type of thing. It's in reverse. It's interesting because maybe for a few of you, this is about saving a marriage, saving a relationship. Hmm. Someone else could be hearing from a Leo that are Leo. Uh, Libra, well, maybe Leo too, that they haven't heard from him for in a while. You know, I don't know if that's good or bad. We have the High Priestess. So I feel like it's saying, you know, you got to trust your own intuition as this night moves towards you. Trust your intuition. You know, it's your guiding light. 
Some say I don't know how to, I don't know my intuition. It's that first instinct. And then many times we talk ourselves out of it or we start to overthink something. This is coming back to that first instinct. Look at this, we have the Ace of Cups, but I saw it flip itself around to put itself in a reverse. Interesting. I know I keep saying interesting, but it is interesting. All right, I wanna see what's underneath them right away. I just feel like I gotta know. Well, we have go from the Knight of Swords to the Palace of Swords. Okay, so whatever this knight is bringing in, it feels like it's something that takes root. I do have my window open. I may have to close it. We have the Three of Swords coming under Justice in reverse. That's the heartache, the pain. It's going to say of the past, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But look at this. We have the Knight of Cups. This is an unexpected offer of a cup. Here is the cup. It's interesting the cup's in reverse though, right? That could be you that has that cup in reverse. I'm going to put you in hold one second. Oh, no, I'm not. Let's just see him. I was trying to figure out what that noise was. Um, but interesting. It's like this Knight of Cups is coming straight for the Three of Swords energy. And I feel like who's ever in a Three of Swords, again, that means you'd be carrying around some heartache. Um, something could have just happened or it may have happened already um, but you know maybe the pain is lingering um, it's interesting because the ace of cups almost feels like you know did the love drain out if this is talking about a committed relationship I do feel like something must have happened that um, put you in the three of swords energy but nonetheless I feel like these knights are coming in anyway one with communication maybe I want you to hear it from my perspective and another is an offer of a cup Look at this with the Ace of Wands. Makes me feel like you are grabbing whatever this Knight of Cups is bringing in. I feel like this, you know, this is yes. This means I'm willing to take action in something, towards something. And then we have the Five of Swords. You know, it's almost like someone is coming in and they want you to hear their side. Now, I feel like they're not coming in to be like, to make excuses. I don't feel that. I feel like they're coming in in the truth. Um, and I feel like there is an awareness of maybe the toxicity they created um you know but when i look at the five i feel like oftentimes i get pulled into that five is about change so i feel like someone has potentially made some changes and that may be what they're coming in to speak about you know because what's in between it is the palace and you know to me the palace um 
I don't know. It's the ultimate. It's like someone's asking you not to cut ties with them. Could be an apology. I feel like you're going to accept it. All right, well, let's keep going. Look at this, the Five of Wands coming right next to the Five of Swords. So this is kind of interesting because I felt like, um, let's talk about like if this was a prior relationship, I feel like, you know, the love is here, right? The love is here. The love was there. Um, it may have felt like it drained out, but it doesn't, but I don't think it did. I just feel like circumstances made it feel that way. Um, and I'm saying that because I feel like with these two fives, both of us um, had a piece in this. Now, when I say that, you know, let's say someone was unfaithful and you weren't. Well, you know, that's that's on them. I'm not putting that on you. What I'm saying is this energy, it's very easy to get caught up in. Like, it just, it can become drama-filled. And then next to the Five of Swords, communication feels like it was probably hell. And maybe both ways. Now, maybe I had a reason to be angry right but it still feels like how it was i don't know i just feel um first of all i feel like there's there was a breakup You know, if this knight is someone new coming in with the high priestess right above it, what it would speak about then is how one or how a, probably a prior relationship had an effect on you. Um, you don't want to you don't want to stay in that energy, especially with these two fives back to back. Five is about change, and then I change as gracefully as I can. Sometimes I'm graceful, sometimes I'm not. So I feel like, and then the Three of Swords is like, um, what do I want to call it? Like, um, oh, I know the word I want to use. I just can't. Um, it's like um, old energy that's hanging around. And I'm saying that because I feel like if this is talking about someone new coming in, even if it's someone old coming in, um, high Priestess is right above that, right above the vehicle that's bringing it in. And then right next to it is the Ace of Wands. So I feel like, um, I feel like your intuition would tell you to move forward, at least in this area. Okay. So I just want to clarify that because I feel a couple different stories here. We have the Seven of Wands. You know, I'm not loving this bottom line. Seven of Wands can be a defensive type energy. Listen, maybe someone's coming in to say that. Like, you know, I know I had, I, I, I was defensive, right? I was in that mode. And we have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Strength card on the bottom of the deck. Card of Leo. This is a card of, first of all, it's an eight. So it's looking for a new beginning, but it's asking something first. It's asking you to find balance within yourself. You know, when you think of an eight, think of self. Like, 
just not that. Whatever it is, go by. Um, you know, eight is self-created. So anyone who can uncreate it is us. This is awareness of, just awareness of oneself and finding true balance within oneself. Um, you know, the light and the dark. And there's a lot of energy here, you know, especially with justice in reverse where balance seems to be like it imbalanced, right? There's, there's imbalance. Strength card gives you the ability to rebalance yourself, let's say. The five of pentacles under that. Hmm. Okay. Let's bring in the um, Tarot of Night. It's actually Tarot D. I think it's Italian. I think. All right, let's give him a cut. And um, let's see. Let's start at the beginning and let's figure this out. All right, we have the wheel. You know, the same reason I don't use these cards more often is because they're, it's hard to come across the screen, but they really are quite beautiful. Um, even though I think they're photographs, I'm not sure. Anyways, the wheel, destiny. Look at that, the three swords coming directly over justice in reverse. So we can see where the imbalance is, right? Even if you know, even if we, like, you know, we can't help it sometimes, you know, we get hurt. You know, the Five of Pentacles is here. Something happens outside your control. Um, you know, but what it's doing is throwing you out of balance. Um, if this is about a couple, it's definitely throwing the couple out of balance. And it's interesting because now we have two Three of Swords right here. So both may have suffered. And I'm just getting this feeling where there may be a marriage and divorce may come on the table. Um, and I do feel like there has been a lot of aggression and difficult words. Um, and I do feel like both, both in that action, both. Um, and, you know, even though one may have had a reason, it still was like we both had that same type of energy. Um, and I feel like, you know, it almost couldn't recover um, at that point, at that point. But in the same breath, I feel like this is someone who may have realized, you know, listen, realized my actions, realized how I've hurt you, realized what I've done um, to this relationship and um, coming in you know, wanting, um, you know, if it's a divorce, like, I don't want it. I don't want us to get divorced. We have the Nine of Wands. Don't give up on me, baby. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands talks about, well... To nine, usually the last chapter. Not the easiest of chapters. This is a period where um, you probably had a lot on your shoulders. But this is also a period where there is, um, you've either had great growth spiritually and physically, or you'll realize that. It's almost like if I look at things from a spiritual lens, sometimes I understand a picture better. That makes sense. 
And then we have judgment. Wow. Judgment. Judgment is your spiritual team, your divine team, your angels, your guides, um, calling you to the present moment. There's a need for you to be in the present moment. You know, you do have the wheel anchor in it over here. Judgment is talking about a rebirth, right? I need you in the present moment because, first of all, there's a nine right before that. I can talk about a cycle that is ending. And your intuition, it's like important to start to really trust it. Um, and I do feel like some type of love is coming in, some type of offer anyway. Um, you know, maybe it's not instant love, but it feels like it, it's going to go that way. Anyway, so judgment coming over this reversal of the ace um, makes me feel like the ace really isn't in reverse, right? We're, we see it in reverse, but that doesn't mean it is. You know, your spiritual team loves you unconditionally, so they wouldn't throw a reversal of an ace. So I think it's more of our, maybe what we tell ourselves. I don't want to love again. Or, I don't want to love so-and-so again. And you know, and if that's your truth, that's your truth. You certainly don't have to, right? I don't feel like this is talking about, you know, listen, I do feel like there was pain. I do feel like there was aggression. I do feel like there was um, minced words. Is that the right word? Um, difficult communication. I feel all that. Um... And, you know, that's a human part of us. But there's also a spiritual part of us. So anyways, judgment, a rebirth. I think it's a rebirth in love. Okay, well that's a lot, but they all came face up, so we're going to take them. We have the world. Look at that. We have the wheel, and now we have the world. That means time's turning. Time is ticking. Um, that means in that nine of wands, like a chapter's coming to an end. It, and it can just mean the way, the way that I've been, right? I'm not going to be that way anymore. I'm not going to carry this around anymore. Or if... It, whatever it is, whatever it is, it just means the closing of that cycle, right? And not forgetting what you've also gained out of it. The world's the next chapter. And the will says that must mean it's moving quickly. Listen, I don't feel like you can enter into the world's energy unless you yourself have balance. I feel like anyone who goes, you know, it can simply mean the next chapter. But I often feel it is a much more spiritual type energy. Like the world to me is the closest energy to God, which means that my spirituality is alive. Um, listen, I might still be working on it. I guess we're always working on it, right? But you know, it's alive. I'm not forgetting to look at situations with the spiritual lens and a human lens. So, the next chapter. We have the Four of Cups. Wow. Now we have the Ace of Cups in the upright, right over the night. Right over the Knight of, the knight of Cups. You know, the one night that's responsible to bring in this cup. And I always say a knight is going to complete their mission. Whether we accept it or not is up to us. But now this ace in the upright is coming directly over this knight. So this knight means business. And then we have the king of swords. It's pretty interesting because I feel like, you know, we do have a lot of sword energy. Um, so for some of you, this probably is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have Libra here. Um, it's 
all I see right now. Anyways, um, listen, when the king comes in the upright and is coming over judgment, this king is coming in with truth. You know, I feel like the queen, if I, if I reach the status of the queen or the king, it's... You know, it's important for me to speak the truth and it's important for me to have the truth. Both ways. This king is mirrored by the world. So I do feel like this king is part of this next chapter. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be an air sign. You know, again, it may just be someone who's coming in to apologize. But not just that. You know, clearly your spiritual team is behind this person. And it's funny, when I look at this Ace of Cups, it's like, it's like she's feeling it, right? She's feeling that Ace. And the Knight is making sure that it arrives. Okay. Look at that, with the Five of Swords over the Five of Swords. I mean this in the nicest way, but it, but I, it must speak of two people and um, two people's communication probably just went off the rails. Now I I know why it's because of the it's because of the pain. I know that, um, but it is showing that like where you know one time we were loving and then we become toxic. She looks angry. Oh. All right. We have the three of wands. Three of wands. It's a good energy to have right now. Because this is an optimistic view of what can be. This is me looking at life and all the possibilities you know I feel the fool in this energy like you know someone who I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow but I know that I'm going to allow myself to enjoy this moment and it's interesting because the four of cups is coming above that so there has been you know that is definitely the energy of inactivity but yet at the same time I still have a dream I'm still dreaming about something. I feel like it must be this ace. And lo and behold, here it comes. Wow. Four of Wands. Wow. This is the marriage card. This is the marriage card. You know, I just want to say real quick also, I feel like um, there may be a few where there may be someone that you're in love with, but yet, um, you know, you feel like you need to defend that love. Mm, you know, um, I feel like it's meant to be, so I don't know if you need to defend it and just let it be. I don't know, but I, I just feel that. So anyways, what are we holding? The Four of Wands, the marriage card. Right under the Ace. Right next to the Three of Wands. The Three to the Four. My perception is nine-tenths of the law. My intention. The energy that I put out there is the energy that will come back to me. If I put nothing out there, then nothing comes back and that's what the four of cups is it's really you know it's really doing nothing about something go into the chapel and I'm gonna be married go to the chapel. Two fours. Just realized that. 
you know, that can speak about two people's foundation, their their own foundation, right? Especially with the strength card, on, you know, as the underlying energy. Um, the energy that, like, maybe I need to master then to, to really take all this in in its glory and not through the fear factor. And once I find that balance within myself, because, you know, again it doesn't matter whose fault it is I know it does in a way but it is showing that both became this way now if this is talking about an old relationship you do want to know yourself right you want to know like you know you want to know how you react and what does you know just how you react you just want to know yourself um, and I'm saying that because when you know yourself and you trust your intuition, I feel like you look at love and life differently. When you really learn to live from the present moment and not putting an expectation immediately that it must go, you know, like if this love isn't going to marriage, then forget it. Well, maybe it has to develop, right? allowed to develop and I have to say sometimes we rush love and some of the best moments I mean there's love is love love is is great right love is painful it's all of that um but a beginning of a relationship even if it's a renewed relationship um can be quite beautiful so why do I want to miss that right and then, you know, after you've had years with someone, just that comfort level is everything. So it may replace that, you know, butterflies all the time, but it replaces it with roots. So anyways, what do we have here? We have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't love seeing that. Um, because the Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. You know, this is where I am, like, I am blocking myself off. Purposely. Hmm. It's almost like she's saying, I need to sleep on it. And maybe you do need to sleep on it. Right? There's no, like, you know, when this comes in, like, do I have to say yes right away? I mean, I feel like you are. Because it goes from this knight who says, I'm bringing you in a cup. And here is the Ace of Cups right on it. That moves into the Ace of Wands. With your spiritual team coming below that. Now, I have to say, if I continue to stay in the Eight of Swords energy, I don't think, I don't think this can play out the way that it could. You know, there's, it, like, our decisions that we're making right now are determining what our future is going to look like. Okay, well, I'm not going to leave it there. I mean, you know, yes, you have, I mean, this just feels like life, right? This is life, and this is the heartache of it and the difficulty at it. But there's two sides to this wheel, right? Sometimes you're at the bottom, and sometimes you're at the top. Sometimes you're at the bottom, climbing your way to the top. Well, from the wheel to the world, the world to me is the top. It is the top. It still doesn't mean you're going to say yes. So, from that concept, and I'm saying that because of the Ace of Swords. I think all I just want to do is follow that ace, I mean that eight. We have the queen of wands, kind of directly ties it to you. 
um, because it probably is you, Sagittarius, can be another Sag, um, Aries, Leo. You know, people are like, oh, that confuses me, Sandy. But I feel like if you don't feel it, then then it's that this part of the message may not be for you. I feel like you you know who I'm talking about. Like you would know. But I do feel like this is you. Eight of Swords and the Strength card and eight. Judgment saying, sweetie, let's have a rebirth here. It's time, right? It's time. It's time to move out of this energy and into more loving, joyful type energy. Three of Wands, again, very optimistic. Ace of Cups, over the night, the Ace of Wands. You're saying, I feel like you're saying yes, even though the Eight of Swords is here. Well, then again, maybe not everyone. All right. So, I feel like that ties that eight directly to you. I want to go back up to judgment. We have the six of wands. Well, that didn't take long. Look at this. We have the two of cups. Interesting, of all the cards that I could have chosen to clarify, I chose Judgment. I don't know if I ever clarify Judgment. I mean, I feel like I never need to. But something made me clarify Judgment. And look at this, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and now the Two of Cups. And by the way, the Six of Wands coming before that, that's the energy of victory. You know, it's like your guide just saying, you don't think you can have victory in love, but you can. Even if it's with someone new, right? But the only way that I can have that victory is to know myself, right? Know myself within different types of situation. That's what I'm doing in the Nine of Wands, right? I'm not leaving that energy with, with at least I'm trying not to, with anger and all that. No. I want, to, I want to look at it with the spiritual lens because this is a time when I'm really growing spiritually if I allow myself. And I have to say, many times it's not until we like fall to our knees where we start seeking the light. And once we seek it, it's going to find us. That's this is what judgment is here for. Two of Cups. You know, and there's that Ace of Cups in reverse, right? Like... But I felt like I think that that cup is done or I think that there's no more love. But I know judgment would not come over that, that energy. Um, I just know it. So instead, what he did is brought out the two of cups, a soulmate. Can I succeed in love? I can. Listen, this can certainly talk about karmic relationships. And listen, if we had karmic relationships, you know, if our soul um, had karmic lessons, then we want to complete those lessons, right? Or they're going to follow us into our next lifetime. Anything karmic, it, it's like an opportunity to clear it right but the only way I can clear it is to understand it and then once I understand it I clear it for eternity not just for this lifetime but for eternity and maybe generational you know it's like reminding me of you know like let's say someone who is in love but they have nothing to go by right they have no experiences maybe maybe they had a single mother or a single father and there were no relationships there's nothing to compare it by um you know and and i got to like sometimes forgive myself in love like you know i didn't like how i was Okay, well, you learned. 
you you know you have the opportunity to learn that to know that and next time you won't be that way or if it starts to rise its head you'll see it immediately that's what your intuition's all about but nonetheless here's judgment bringing out the two of cups here's the ace of cups here's the knight of cups i mean what can i say we cannot deny that this is love right we can't deny it um what you do with it i just feel like is going to be your own um i feel like these eights really want to be looked at the eight of swords and the strength card right the taming of the beast within myself it doesn't matter about anybody else right i can't tame their beast but i can tame my own you know strength card she's half woman half half um here she's a tiger but usually it's a lion right like the king of the jungle um and it just it's talking about her her strength that she's gained how strong she is now but also loving and nurturing right because our light is still shining we want our light to be shining All right, I think I'm going to read the marriage card. I don't think I am. And um, I think I'm going to have to let your comments fill me in for the rest. All right, you drew this card because your relationship needs loving attention. You've been out of balance lately with too much focus upon work and intellectual pursuits. Mother Mary steps in and asks you to stop what you're doing and put your energy into your marriage. In fact, make a renewed commitment to it and all of your interpersonal relationships. Allow yourself to care about and connect with each person you love. For unmarried individuals, this card signals a positive and important change in your love life provided that you're open that you open your heart and allow yourself to be authentic and vulnerable with others commit to developing your relationships at the highest possible levels so they are truly love filled wow i feel like that just covered everybody there um you know, it's it's interesting because I feel the love from this reading, but I also feel the anguish. I feel it both, but I feel the love stronger. I feel the love stronger. Mother Mary said it herself. It's like up to you. Up to you. All right, guys. I love you. Um... I can't wait to read your comments. Please leave your comments. Let me know how it relates to you. Um, you know, I don't think, I, I just want to say, because I already know some may say like, you know, well, the person I was with was a narcissist. When your your spiritual team comes out and is speaking about love, I don't feel like this is anything or anyone who comes in darkness. Now, if my energy is low like that, don't think that you can't manifest more of the same, right? It's when I raise my vibration, everything around me raises, right? And what cannot, cannot stay. So, anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to leave it be. Um so much gratitude for you and all the things you do for me um thank you for those who become a member you know i have the membership program that's right below you can check that out look under the join button it breaks down for you um personal readings i do do them i don't take them that often um i am taking them now that is also in the more detail section under the reading um yeah i think that's it i just can't wait for your comments i thank you for sharing the video um you know like you feel like oh boy i feel like this is so and so thank you for that because many times i get a message from people who say so and so sent me um 
this reading and um, it's exactly what I needed. So, you know, sometimes like today, like I feel like I'm late, but I'm not late. I know this is right when you're meant to get your reading. Um, and I don't know, I just hope you can see it for what it wants to be. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.